<clears throat> All right, hi everybody. This is part three for the countdown to Mitten CI conference this weekend. All right, so today, uh, let's see, the other video was, uh, was part 2.5 on how to do story assessments in class, you know, after you circle the story. Um, then, you know, I did a 2.5 on how to, you know, what to, what to give them as a post assessment. Uh, there's a couple other different ways too, but um, those are what I do. Um, all right, and then the first sec the first part one was a special person, right? And part two is about storytelling, how to circle stories. So this one's like a movie talk, which I think is coined by, who coined that? I don't know. Because I kind of did movie talk stuff, what we call movie talk, years before it was even called movie talk. I don't know. But, so basically what it is is, it's like, you know, it's kind of like you come up with some sort of engaging video or something. Usually it, uh, teachers use like uh, CGI animation, those little shorts that you see. Um, you know, like they're like four minute videos. Um, most of the time there's no dialogue. You don't really, you don't always have to do those. You can do ones that are, uh, have some dialogue in it. And usually you don't want a movie, you don't want to use a video that's maybe more than four or five minutes, okay? And, I, and so basically what you do is um, you go to, um, you upload Jing, J-I-N-G. So it allows you to easily screenshot stuff because what I'll do is I'll go to the YouTube video Okay, and I'll play the video for a minute or two, you know, a second or two, hit pause, screenshot it if I want that, you know, particular spot. Okay, and then I come over, well, you got to screenshot them all first and put them in a folder on your desktop or something. And then once you get all the screenshots of what you want, then you copy, paste. You don't have to, you can just like run it through photo gallery. But I like to paste them into PowerPoint with a black background, okay? Um, as you can see, you know, here's a picture. It's got a black background. I could enlarge the picture, too. I just... Because when I copy-paste, the size comes up like, like this. And that's just, like, one more extra step to, you know, blow it up for the whole screen, okay? Usually, to, for me, to screenshot, like, like a, a, you know, a video, a four-minute video, let's say, um, you can have as many screenshots as you want, you know, depends. Sometimes I had 20 screenshots, sometimes I only had 10, and that's it. It's how many you want to do, how many times you want to hit play, pause, play, pause, and screenshot all the pictures, and then paste them onto PowerPoint, okay? And it's one more step if you want to enlarge the picture so it takes up your whole screen, but, you know, screenshotting and pasting everything into PowerPoint already takes me 15 minutes as it is, and that doesn't include... Uh, doing the um, creating an embedded reading or a reading on it that you give the students the next day okay some teachers don't go through that trouble all they do is just um, they play then they pause talk it play then pause talk some more you know but a lot of teachers will say that maybe that there's too much student frustration because they just want they want to watch the video so if you get rid of that you know frustration that they might have when you, for you doing that just screenshot the, the screenshot everything first right because if you do these enough then eventually I mean they know that they're gonna watch the video in, in its entirety after you circle you know this um, and a lot of times some teachers come up with scripts I don't I just full screen it and I just go ahead and talk in the language and a lot of times with the you know these movie talks or whatever um, you're, it's it's kind of I think it's it's definitely a good break if you're doing a textbook curriculum. Some teachers they actually they'll saw out after like videos they can use that's you know that's based on a a given unit. Okay, like a chores unit. Okay, so I gotta go. I gotta find a video, three, four, or five minute video, and do a movie talk over, uh, you know, about a kid who does chores in the house. That's very limiting. Like, like, what, what, is there a video out there for that? Is there a cartoon about kids doing chores in a house? You know, so I think it's kind of difficult a little bit to find something that you know that correlates with like a set vocab list of a chapter if you're doing a textbook curriculum. So, uh, you know, but I think a lot of times 
you're, you're using the high frequency structures in all these movie talks, right? Has, likes, goes. They're, everyone's having something, liking something, going somewhere, wanting to do something, leaving, giving something to somebody else, knows how to do something, says something to another character in the video, sees something, right? So all those high frequency words are going to naturally come up. I, really, in a movie talk, lesson that's really what you're focusing on are the super seven or the sweet 16 you know the high frequency words that are always going to come up with anything because they're high frequency words in the language right any language english spanish french port i mean those are the right so for example um in this video at the end i'll have like two little videos pop up showing uh two different movie talks i did in class um a lot of times i'll freestyle it i don't really don't have a script you know, I'm like, okay, class, uh, there's a girl. Where's the girl? In a bedroom or in the kitchen? They say a bedroom. Okay, well, there's a girl in the kitchen or in the bedroom. And then I just do the same kind of thing with storytelling. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of something else. Some teachers will have a script, you know. And yes, no, either, or, interrogative questions, circle, 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 for about maybe what? Maybe 12 to 15 minutes and then play the video and then call it a day for that, for day one. And the second day, you can go ahead and let me see what, uh, six minutes, all right. Second day, you can have a reading where you have to type out everything, right? Come up with like, you know, write, write a couple paragraphs in your target language over the, over the video you chose, you know. Um, it's actually smart, you know, to go onto the IFLT website or the Michigan World Language CI Teachers website or CI Liftoff and, you know, and, uh, you know, look around on there for people that already have one done. So you don't have to do anything. It's already printed. You got the reading. Or some teachers will make a couple different readings based on level. Here's a level one reading of the movie talk. They created a level two one, an advanced one. Okay. Um, and then usually I just pass it out the next day and we just read it together as a class. And that's it. The reading. You know, something that I typed up. Or I might make an assignment out of it. You know, take, write, do up a reading. Take out words. Word bank, put the words in the blank, ask questions based on the reading, or, you know, make a reading, chop up, you know, put all the sentences in different order. Just the same stuff as, like, story, the, story, the story listening stuff from the other video, okay, to make a post-assessment. A lot of times I just want to read it for the sake of reading it, and that's it, and not make an assignment for it. Because I always think the movie talk stuff's kind of like a bonus, right? It's kind of like more fun especially if you're tied to a textbook curriculum and you can just do movie talk stuff and venture out so you, you know, you're not, you know, having to deal with the set vocab list, okay? And that's another thing too, you know, like some teachers on one, these, these groups will say something like, hey, I'm looking for a movie talk for insert grammar, and, you know, I need, I need a movie talk for reflexive verbs, you know, I mean... I don't know. I think that's kind of difficult when teachers are actually looking for a movie talk so that they can, like, you know, in, implement, like, a certain grammar point. Um, you might not get too far by doing that. I don't know. Um, I would just say as they naturally come up, okay? Um, I mean, if you want to, like, you know, emphasize a certain grammar element then go ahead, I would just write your own story and do, you know, and have the PowerPoint with the cutout drawings or have air actors write up your own story and, you know, do that way versus, you know, you looking all over the place for all these videos so that you can have like a, you know, find the right video or <laughs> if one even exists of a video that deals with uh, somebody's daily routines. Oh, which by the way, Mr. Bean has that video, you know, and you know. I'll put the Google Docs down below in the comments, or no, on the Facebook group, if you want. And they're already there. If you want to add, if, if, if you want to add more movie talks, you can. I talked about that before. Um, so I guess that's about it. That's a little my take on movie talks. All right. So today's Tuesday. So we got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday or four days. Wait, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, four more days until the conference and uh, sold out. And I guess that's it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I could say about movie talks. I don't know. Not at the moment, I guess. All right, so that was part three. Tomorrow we'll do part four, maybe on proficiency time rights or free voluntary reading or when you read a novel as a class and then and proficiency time rights. So we'll do it. I think we'll do, I'll be able to get five parts to the series. All right, so anyways, I guess that was about it. Oh, wait, no, no, no. 
Um, let me see here. I have my helper in the back of the room, which is going to hit this uh, doc, this Word document, okay, and take the one that says uh, Tamara reading. The time. So here it is. So here's a whole script, for example, okay, that another teacher wrote and shared out on a Facebook group and scroll. And you know, as you see, it's just it's quite lengthy. It's all in the present tense. You know, she's got one that's an advanced one. Or the past tense, you know, if it's past tense, it must be advanced. I don't necessarily, you know, think that's true. But, um, so there you go. So there's something as well. Um, and if he goes to uh, Word document one more time. Uh, oh, Mr. Bean. So I did this one today for Spanish, too, in the present tense, because we are doing, ref you know, uh, reflexive verbs, grammar element on the daily routines unit, right? So it's like there's a man, his name's Mr. Bean. One day Mr. Bean is sleeping in his bed. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. Mr. Bean doesn't want to get up. You know, shaving and, you know, getting up, going to bed. So it's got that element in there. <clears throat> um, oh, and by the way, that PowerPoint, it depends. Some teachers, what they'll want to do is they, um, if you want to hit the PowerPoint there, I don't think I brought it up, though. No, I didn't. Um, that one, some teachers will put in the text. Okay, on the screen. So on the Mr. Bean one, which I borrowed, you know, I got from somebody, it says, um, you know, Mr. Bean doesn't want to get up, he wants to stay in bed, blah, blah, blah. And it's on the screen with the picture. I don't use the text on the pictures. I just have just the picture. But that's up to you. Again, that's one more step if you're going to go ahead and write the text. You know, and I guess that helps in a way. Okay. But I figure, like, the next day when I give them the reading, the students are going to see the, you know, the written word anyway. So, but if you want to have the written word up there on this, on day one of you doing the movie talk at the same time, and then you're just basically reading the sentence that's on the screen that you typed up and, you know, and put under the picture or, you know, that's up to you. Um, I'm, I'm not going to do that. That's just one extra step to have to put together. But, um, I mean, I do if I'm, if I'm using one that, it, that it's already there, then I'll, you know, obviously I use it. If someone else decided to go through that other step, then I, borrow, I use that one, and it's not my creation. But when I create, I don't put the text up there. All right, I think I'm rambling. Okay, so that was part three. I'm Darren Way. All of you are awesome world language teachers. Mitten CI conference, about four more days. Stay tuned for part three, which I think we're going to call it, I don't know, we're going to do free voluntary reading next and reading novels in class in general. That'll be the next topic, and I'll put that up tomorrow. All right, bye.